I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. That is R-D-K-L-I-N-C dot com, where you can click on the Answers button and get your Apple hardware questions answered by me for free. And where you can click on the Contact button and sell me your broken MacBook. Just enter in the information, the condition, and I will send you a quote. Uh, so anyway, this video is about the PowerBook G4 Titanium 15-inch uh, PRAM uh, battery issue. Uh, basically what happens here, you can see the AC adapter plugged into the DC in and the light is amber. Uh, that light should be green when there's no battery. This machine has no battery connected as you can see. Um, light should be green but it is amber and the machine does not power on. That is because the PRAM battery is so dead that it's just not allowing the computer to power on at all. Uh, the PRAM battery, when these machines sit on a shelf for years, can just be so completely drained that uh, this condition occurs. Uh, thousands of these machines a year get thrown away, uh, you know, recycled, scrapped, whatever, because people just assume the board's dead, uh, DCN is dead, that kind of thing. But in fact, there's, you know, a two-minute fix that I will now show you. Um, so anyway, we'll disconnect the AC adapter flip the machine over. As you can see, I have already pretty much gutted it. Um, taking the bottom off is very simple. Here's the bottom. You just remove these screws. Sometimes they're big torque screws. Sometimes they're uh, large Phillips screws. You just, you just take those screws out and then from the bottom right corner just lift it up and the whole thing just kind of pops up. So the PRAM battery is underneath the optical drive. This is the optical drive. Uh, this is the cable for the optical drive. You just pop that up and then from the left side you just kind of pull the thing up. Now there's a bunch of tape, this kind of tapey stuff on the other side and it kind of sticks. So you just kind of have to rip it apart like that. Sometimes the little rubber rings around the post the, uh, on the, the drive will come off. Um, now, now that this is open, you want to make sure that these connectors stay down. Uh, sometimes uh, when you pull this out, it, it pulls everything up. So anyway, here you have it. This is the PRAM battery. Any time you see this kind of odd glob thing, uh, that's the PRAM battery with a cable and then a connector. Connector goes into a little daughter card. The daughter card connects up to the logic board. Uh, but this is a PRAM battery. You can see four cells here. And what we want to do, it's a pretty simple process. Well, it'll take some tweezers and disconnect the PRAM battery right there. Now with it disconnected, you want to connect the AC adapter. You can now see that it's green. And then we want to plug the AC adapter back in, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the PRAM battery back in little tricky it's kind of small and that is in and the light is green um, I, for the purposes of this video I will just not put in the optical drive I just want to show you that this machine is now working you have a green light hit power and there we go uh, this machine has other issues. It doesn't have a hard drive. It has a bad screen. But we now basically have a functional computer that we can, you know, proceed to work on um, its other issues. Uh, you know, if, if this machine did not have other problems, we, you would, you know, you would be in business at this point. So uh, anyway, uh, like I said, this is just a, you know, quick two-minute fix for a very, very, very common problem. I've received lots of a hundred of these machines and, you know, 40 of them have had this problem. So it's, it's, it's very, very common. And by knowing this, the simple fix, you can, you know, you can save a lot of laptops from, from landfills. These are still, G4s are still fairly functional computers, you know, for kids or for people who aren't doing, uh, you know, high-end functions. So, you know, this is a valuable trick to know. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure, like I said, to go to my website, rdklinc.com, to get your questions answered and sell me your MacBooks. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.